Hi guys, it's Hayley here from Parallel Coaching and welcome to the Phi Islands in Thailand. What have we got behind us, Neil? In the background there guys, hi guys, it's Neil here. Um, in the background you've got huge cliffs that just appear out of the water and you can see the main sandbar that divides the main PP Island. And this was the sandbar that got absolutely devastated back in 2005 by the tsunami. And the last couple of days exploring the island has been a, a real eye-opener to how people tolerate their environment. And we're definitely going to do a number of videos for you guys um, about this and how to train and tolerate the environment. Environment. Um, but for today, we want to talk about anatomy and physiology. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Because the last couple of weeks, we've had a number of learners um, email us in about key questions around their level two and level three exams. So we've put these questions together and we've come up with the trends. And I've got seven questions to quiz Haley about the A and P here in the Fifi Islands. So it's absolutely baking. So I'm going to crack on. It's about 33, 34 degrees. And there's a few midges around as well and the odd monkey so apologies if that gets in shot but the first question here is what are the names of the two components that make up the skeletal system Haley? Uh, axial and appendicular skeletons. That is correct and bonus marks how many bones are in each? Oh, okay. um, axial is 80 and then appendicular will be 126. That is correct. <laughs> Second question. Can you explain the difference between osteoblasts and osteoclasts? Okay, nice. Okay, so favourite one for the exam questions, actually, this one. Um, and really, these parts contribute to the building and the breaking down of bone in our body. And that's all to do with the calcium laid down during ossification. So osteoblasts stimulate bone to be built, so think blast equals build, B and B, and then osteoclasts sim stimulate the collapsing of, bone, of bone formation, so as the bones are collapsing, that's when the minerals are getting leached out of the body and can move into the bloodstream and be moved away. So clasts are collapsed, blasts are built. Fantastic, I like it Hayley. Next question, name the three different types of muscle and the differences please. Oh, okay. Um, so these three often get really mixed up. First one is cardiac. This one is involuntary in that we don't control it. Cardiac muscle only happens in the heart, but it's striated, which means it's a really powerful contraction. So cardiac is involuntary and striated. Then you've got an involuntary muscle type. These are usually smooth and we don't control them. So usually you'll find these in like your digestive system or in your arteries. And then you've got voluntary muscle type, and that one is going to be our skeletal system. So these are the muscles that we have voluntary control over, and these are striated. They've got a stripy nature to them, which means that they contract really, really well. Lovely. Thank you, Hayley. Next question. How would you categorise the cardiorespiratory system? This is a key question. Quite a few of you guys have emailed us about this. Okay, the cardiorespiratory system can feel a bit of a muddle because we never really see it ourselves. Um, we can certainly feel the effects, but we never see it. And... Um, it can kind of get a bit confusing. So it's easy to chunk them down into three. The first one being all around the lungs. So for this one, this is the pulmonary system. And that means that all the circulation that takes the lungs and the oxygen back to the heart and then it takes the carbon dioxide from back to the lungs in order to be able to expel. Then you've got the one in the middle, which is coronary circulation. Coronary circulation is just of the heart muscle itself. And that's often where blockages will happen and cause things like heart attacks, for example. That all happens in the coronary circulation. So there's two. Third one, please, Hayley. Third one is systemic circulation or the systemic system. And that's that serves the rest of the body. So things like going to the muscles, going to all of our organs, etc. That's all the systemic system. Lovely. Uh, last couple of questions then. Can you explain eccentric, concentric and isometric, please? Okay. All different types of muscle contraction. So let's go with isometric to start off with. This is the feeling of holding. So iso means same, metric means length. This means that your muscle is staying the same length oh, I like that. continually. So that's like holding something still. The muscle is contracted, but it stays the same length. Then you've got concentric and eccentric movements. Concentric is when the muscle itself is shortening, but a nice way of remembering that is that it's usually when the load is going up towards the clouds. So concentric starts with a C and then it goes up to the clouds. So it's in the load, like in a bicep curl, the dumbbell goes up towards the clouds. And then for eccentric, that's when the load is going down to the earth. And in that case, the muscle is lengthening under tension. 
fantastic. Penultimate question then. What are the time durations of the three energy systems? Quick fire on this one. Oh my God, okay. So um, start with CP system, so creatine phosphate. That's up to 10 seconds. Fantastic, then second one. The system is up to three minutes Lovely. maximum. And then aerobic is three minutes plus. Fantastic. And another quick fire round, seventh question. If I was on a lap pull down, what plane of motion would I be in? Uh, frontal. Fantastic. If I was doing a squat, what plane of motion would I be in? Sagittal. Lovely. And if I was doing a Russian twist, what plane of motion would I Transverse. be in? Transverse. Transverse. Fantastic. So there are our seven questions. I hope that helps, guys. Those have been the key uh, questions that have been sent to us for the last couple of weeks. And, you know, we're pleased to be able to still provide this information and even though we're on tour out in Thailand. So I think in that video you heard the odd monkey. I certainly did in the background. Um, there's a few birds. I actually think that was a parrot. Um, it's just the, the most craziest of places. So keep an eye out for more A&P videos coming your way. Take care, guys.